Homelessness has many faces. It has every color, every creed, every gender. I keep hearing the term hidden homeless get thrown around. They're either in hostels, because they're still classed as homeless. Yep. Sofa surfing, yep. bouncing from place to place. You can walk past someone in a business suit, man. This guy could be homeless. You don't know. Like, don't, don't, don't give homelessness a face. That's what I say. Today, I'm back on the ends, back in Clapton, E5, to meet a young guy to find out about his experiences as a homeless young man. There's a big rise in people between the ages of 18 and 25 that are homeless, but they're not sleeping on the street like that. They're in their friends' houses, or they're in their friends' mum's sofa, or they're on their, like, do you know what I mean? Just having a roof over your head doesn't mean you have a home. Exactly. There's a difference between having a roof and having a home, isn't it? Jerome went into care at the age of 14 due to family breakdown. After leaving the care system two years later, he still hasn't been able to find an affordable place to live. When, when people paint a picture of a homeless person, it's not someone that looks like you or that looks like you or that looks like me. Why is that, do you think? You don't want people to know. You don't want people to see that side of you. Like, not to be big-headed, I dress all right, I've got my trainers on, I look fresh, I've had a shower, I go to work. When I get paid, I'll go barbers. So no one knows that I'm homeless. Like, it's only like the people who know me I know that like, how long I've been sleeping on my sister's sofa, or I've been sleeping on my nan's sofa, or my aunt's sofa, or this person's sofa, that person's sofa, who really know that I'm homeless. Two bedroom apartment, a spare room for, for my children to stay in when they came over. 400 pound a week, so that's what, four, eight, that's 1,600 pound a month. So 1,600 pound a month, how many hours have you got to work you to got do 16, that? Yeah, but then you've got bills. Exactly, exactly, like, no one's mentioned that. Why do I want to move out of London when all my family live here? I think Jerome is probably quite an accurate picture of a lot of people who are the hidden homeless. You would never pick him out from a crowd as being homeless. He's very well kept, better kept than I am. <laughs> He's basically everything that people would assume homeless isn't. What's your situation now? So at the minute, I'm just on my aunt's sofa trying to find somewhere else to go. So what are the options? <sighs> Private bank, Private council, rent, count, council's not an option. Not in London. <laughs> like, <laughs> my cousin's been on the council list for 10 years. I don't ever want my children to go through the things that I've gone through and see the things that I've seen and like spend nights in McDonald's because they've got nowhere else to go or to walk around the streets all night because they've got nowhere else to go. I don't want to see my children in that position ever. After you, bro. Thank you. Everyone pins the beginning of the next stage of their life on when they get accommodation, and rightly so, because without that foundation, how can you build a life? Safe, man. Safe for that. All the best for the future. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for listening as well. Respect. All right. Jerome's fortunate enough that he can help himself, but not everyone can.